what's going on. In this video, I'm going to do a little bit of a gear long-term review, I guess. Um, one of the pieces of gear I get the most questions about, which is kind of surprising, is this. My, my Sun Year foldable camp chair. All right, this little, this little guy right here. So I paid like 35 or 30 nine dollars on amazon on this three years ago i've had this for three years now um and it surprisingly has held up really really well um i mean the the orange is, is a little faded all right and there's a couple of holes in it from sparky fires but i mean there's really not a whole heck of a lot else wrong with the chair um the, these supports right here um have bowed a little bit just a little a little bit of a bow to them um and and that is it this they say this is rated for 250 pounds i am uh i fluctuate between somewhere 175 to 190 depending on the on the day i guess uh so i'm i'm well within the the limits of it but I mean, for three years, I've had this kayak camping, backpacking, like I'm doing right now, um, car camping. I've used it around the house. It's been in, in snow, sleet, freezing rain, wind, high temperatures, low temperatures, you name it. This thing has been, I just put it through the ringer. I'm not gentle with it. Um, I was I was hoping that when I bought it, that it would last like a season. <laughs> Didn't expect I'd get like three or four out of it. And it really doesn't show any signs of giving up anytime soon the only real downside to it um and now some people the, the it's two pounds um that's a downside for some people you know you can get them a lot lighter for you know like a pound for one of these chairs you're going to pay a lot more um for the price the pound is worth it i think considering how long it's lasted but really the only downside would be those little feet that's it that's the only downside and the only reason why i say that is because when there's the ground is soft enough and you put enough pressure on it you'll sink right in the ground they'll go right in now i could probably get bigger feet for that somewhere um or uh think about making like a, a tray like a fabric tray that'll kind of help spread out the weight uh, i've seen somebody sent me a a link to those um i just haven't gotten around to making one uh, it might help spread out the weight a little bit on softer ground in the snow it sinks but that's really it that's the only it sinks sometimes <laughs> for 35 dollars yeah it's holding up pretty good so um i looked online before i left and they still sell it they they sell a couple different versions of it now some have pockets and higher packs or you know, whatever. But this exact one is still for sale, and it's like 38 bucks now. So it's, it's similar to what I paid for it. Um, yeah, I mean, usually I don't give the, the cheaper brands a lot of faith a lot of times. I just assume they're going to, you know, be good for a little while and then, and then crap out. But this thing? No. So if you've seen the video, and I'll put the link to the the video I, I did, the, the, the like the first review of it. Um, I was out kayak camping. It was the first. I just had it. Just got it like a, for like a, I had it for maybe a week. And that was the first trip I took it out on. Um, I'll put the card. You'll see the little thing pop in here. Or oop, click on the little eye. I'll show you. I'll take you that video. Um, but yeah, I mean, it sets up really quick. I'll, I'll show you real fast here. So it just has these pockets. All right. The whole thing slides in these pockets. corners and these just are on elastics even the elastics are holding up good hold the legs down trim stone frame all right these little velcro that you, what's wrong with oh, no that's good these little velcro they give you you wrap it up Throw it in the bag, strap it in your backpack, and you're good to go. Really, 
impressed how long this has lasted me. So if you're looking for a cheap chair, and you don't mind a little bit of extra weight, so it adds two pounds to your pack, and that's all this this frame because it's aluminum, it's not titanium or anything. And I'll, I'll show you. You can see how this one's a little bit bent. I don't know if that's coming through. And that's the, the end. Just you know, the ones that hold hold the seat. So not bad for three years. The sun year chair. Who would have thought it would last this long? So those of you who've been asking how it's still holding up, that's how it's still holding up. Three years, over three, three and a half years. I got in like June, it's September now, 2020. Got in June of 2017, and it's still kicking. So not a bad chair. See you in the next.